Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Dream Video and I'll talk about how to make best oval tin at home. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you appreciate variety, please go ahead and come back for more. If you're only looking for Dream Videos, there will be links in the description box below. We have all the ingredients you need. So the most important ingredients uh, are oval tin or you know different types of oval tin so i have here uh, the classic one which is right here and the chocolate one which is right here so the classic one actually is the oval tin uh, you know i have known when i was growing up and we used to drink that stuff uh, you know almost every day and the chocolate oval tin uh, i tried it in the past but i didn't like the taste uh, it could be that you know i just uh, too much used to uh, growing up with the original or classic oval tin so I'm going to try today making both of the oval tin and then we'll see you know how does it taste so the other ingredients you need is milk I have uh, organic 3.8% uh, milk right here and then I have here organic soy milk so any kind of milk would do uh, if you do not have milk then you can use other substitutes for example I have coffee creamer or I have evaporated milk or you can even use condensed milk but uh, it's not recommended to use anything else but milk because milk is going to give you the best, uh, you know, taste and flavor and texture. And also, uh, usually uh, I've seen people making Ovaltine with just, you know, 100% milk. But uh, I found out that uh, if you add slight water with it, then, you know, it brings up uh, the better uh, tasting and uh, better uh, you know oval tin so for this video I'm going to add just you know 25% water with the milk so I'm going to get my cups uh, right here so I have uh, you know two uh, separate cups and these are about six seven ounce each I'm going to take uh, you know uh, oval tin or water to make up the full so what it means that you know if you're looking at uh, six ounce let's say then I'm going to take 25% I'm sorry 75% of milk and 25% of water. So I'm going to use uh, soy milk to make the chocolate oval tin and I'm going to use the regular milk which is I have here organic 3.8% uh, milk for the classic oval tin and then I'm going to add the rest 25% of water. So the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to take water from the tap and you know make it uh, or boil the water I have an electric kettle right here but you can use just any you know pot or anything to boil the water so, but uh, make sure that you know the water is very uh, cold so I'm going to just let the faucet run for about one minute uh, to make the water very cold which would bring the bring up the most you know taste and flavor of the oval tin and looks like you know the water is getting ice cold so let's with another maybe 20 seconds then another 10 seconds and actually I can feel that it's like cold like ice right now so it should be good enough so I'm just going to you know put the water in here and here I have enough water for 25% uh, for both of both cups so I'm just going to pour water in the electric kettle and I'm just going to you know uh, turn this on and the water is going to you know boil within a few seconds it's really fast so while we wait, uh, I would like to mention that on this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas and I do have some uh, drink videos and I have lots of other variety uh, of uh, videos. So if you, if you appreciate variety, please go ahead and come back for more and hit the subscribe button and please also like the video. That way more people can you know find the video uh, and they can learn how to make the world's best cup of Ovaltine at home. In the past, I have made uh, how to make coffee, uh, how to make Horlicks, how to make tea, how to make milk tea, and all those videos, you'll uh, find uh, links in the description box below. So water is getting, you know, uh, ready, and I'm just going to, uh, in the meanwhile, take oval tin and put it in the cup. So I'm going to use a tablespoon, and for each cup, I'm going to take about two tablespoons of oval tin. Uh, you can like you know adjust the amount uh, based on your taste and needs uh, so if you need like you know stronger uh, oval tin or more oval tin then definitely you can put more or if you want lighter then you can put less but for this video I'm just going to start with the you know regular uh, classic oval tin and let's uh, take about two spoon here 
and another one here so that's going to be the classic one and then I'm going to take uh, the regular one which I have it right here I'm sorry this is the chocolate one and then I'm going to just put it in here and I'm going to put another teaspoon in here and you can see that you know this is a teaspoon size uh, spoon and let's just close this up and I'm going to just you know put hot water first uh, the 25 percent hot water and then I'm going to put the milk later on I didn't warm up the milk uh, but you know uh, you can warm up the milk or you can boil the milk uh, but I don't do that so what I do I just like you know uh, hot, take hot water put it in here and then later I put the milk and then if I need like you know need to warm it up I can I just put it in microwave uh, for a few seconds that should that's good enough for me now you can see here that the water is boiling so it's going to take another few seconds to you know stop the uh, kettle and then we'll just you know take the water from here so the kettle has stopped and let's just wait a few more seconds and you can see that the sound died down so I'm just going to take it here and put oval tin in here uh, put water in here for 25 percent it's like 25 percent water and then let's put it in here okay so i'll just put a little bit more in here so i'm just going to you know uh steer the water uh, oval tin to melt it and i'll do the same right here so you can see that you know my amount is 25 percent water so this is the classic and this is the chocolate and you have the option to add sugar so i have sugar right here so if you don't want extra sugar you can also add um, honey uh, or like you know other type of sweetener uh, for this video i'm just going to add you know one sugar in here and one sugar in here and we'll see how it, how does it go so now i'm ready to put milk in here so i'm just going to put the um, organic you know grass-fed milk 3.8 percent in here so let's just do that so I'm just going to stop uh, right here and I'm going to take the soy milk which is organic soy milk I have right here and then I'm going to just put it in here Okay, so let me just, you know, uh, melt both of these by steering them. Okay, so I have uh, two cups right here. So this is the regular milk and this is the soy milk. But you can see that, you know, the regular milk looks a little bit uh, too uh, white. So... I might want to put another like you know spoon of ovaltine in here but let me just taste uh, this first then we'll decide what to do okay taste and sweet wise they are perfect I don't see I need to I don't see there's any need to you know add extra ovaltine so this one looks a little bit like you know creamier or whiter just because of the concentration of milk because this is just like you know regular milk and soy milk is a little bit lighter than uh, regular milk that's why it looks like you know more darker and also the fact that this is a chocolate oval tin but in terms of taste uh, i like how they taste like let me just try again If you're looking for the classic oval tin, oval tin uh, taste and uh, you know smell, this one has that, which is the regular one. The chocolate oval tin tastes a little bit different. It looks, it tastes like you know chocolatey, and also it tastes like uh, it, it looks like a little bit uh, smells like a little bit not oval tin. Uh, it looks smells like a little bit chocolate uh, more than oval tin, but the classic one uh, smells and tastes like you know the oval tin uh, I have grown up. Uh, drinking it when i was uh, little so and uh my preference would be the you know regular 
Ovaltine, but from time to time, I don't mind like you know switching to uh, chocolate Ovaltine just for a change. But uh, this is the process how you make you know world's best Ovaltine at home. And uh, there's nothing right or wrong. You can you know adjust your ingredients or your measurements. For example, you can add more milk, less milk, more water, less water. Uh, more over more ovaltine less ovaltine uh, no sugar yes sugar so it's all up to you how you like and once you try it for a few times you're going to come up with your perfect combination but uh, this is the basic like you know simple steps to start making ovaltine at home and that's how you do it and these are all the ingredients so thank you for watching this video if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and subscribe uh, there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you